Yamaha digital mixers from the last 15 years have come with a PC or Mac editor software. So now we have TF Editor that you can use for offline setup and online control. TF Editor is actually quite special. I'll show you in a minute. Also, we have the amazing Stage Mix remote control app that can be used from an iPad over a wireless LAN connection. Firstly, TF Editor can preset parameters in offline mode even if you don't have an actual TF mixing console in front of you. In addition to configuring parameter settings such as EQ, faders and so forth, you can create scenes, set the channel names and call up presets in advance on the software. When you're ready, connect your Windows PC or Mac to the Ethernet terminal on the rear panel of the TF mixer and then synchronize online. The settings created in the PC or Mac will be applied to the TF mixer. In online mode, you can manipulate the parameters in real time from the TF editor and check the operations performed on the TF mixer at the computer's screen. If you use a Windows 8 PC with a multi-touch screen, you can use the same gestures as on the console itself. More than that, if you use Wi-Fi, it can be a fantastic remote mixing device. When you launch the editor, firstly select the mixer type and then click Start. And there you have the familiar interface right in front of you. If you're going to set up for a new show, why not start by recalling some of the practical presets in the library? Let's go to the drums and for channel one, let's recall a kick drum. Move to channel two, let's find a snare drum. I know there's some somewhere. Here we go, snare drum recall. Then channel three, you've guessed it, is going to be a hi-hat recall. So there's three channels already set. But I've just remembered, I have a scene stored from my previous gig. So let's recall that to save time. There, there's all my settings. If you want to do some tweaking, then you can go into the details. Look, here's the analog gain. Here's the EQ. See, one knob mode is available if you want it. Here's the gate and here's the compressor with all the functions. Again, one knob mode is available. If you want to do sends on faders, you can come over here. Choose the send, just like that, and edit on the faders. If you need to change a channel name, you can come here and edit the name, like that. Maybe change the color. There we go. When you're finished, you're ready to synchronize to the console. Bring the mouse over here, click the offline button, select the mixer in case there's more than one on the network, and choose the direction for sync, in this case from TF Editor to the TF Mixer. Click Connect. Hey, now we're online. Let's check. Yup, that's perfect. Talking of which, TF Stage Mix is a remote control app that runs on iPads. By connecting the iPad and the TF Mixer via wireless LAN, you can walk around the entire venue and check and adjust the sound in a variety of positions. Since the look of TF Editor and TF Stage Mix app have virtually the same layout as that of the console, you can manipulate the apps in exactly the same way. So there's only one GUI to learn. Here's how it works. Firstly, make sure the console network settings and the router are set correctly. Then launch the Stage Mix app. It will search for the mixer and then you can get connected. Once it's got the data from the console, you can see the familiar layout. Look at that. Scroll through the channels or you can go directly bank by bank by pressing up here. Great. Above the faders, you can see more detailed information for the channels. Here's the input gain. Here's the EQ. Look, with the one knob mode. Here's the gate. All the parameters available. Here's a compressor 
Again, one knob mode is available. And here we can see the channel name. You could edit the name. You could change the color, like that. If you swipe here, you can see the other bits of information about the channel. If we go to an output, then we can see, of course, the graphic EQ that's available. Let's open that. And you can intuitively adjust the graphic EQ. Scroll to find the frequency you want. If you want to move to another channel, you can go step by step like this, or you can scroll through channels this way. Nice and easy. Let's go back home. Now, if maybe the lead vocal wants to hear more saxophone, then over here we can go to the mix ends, find the one for the lead vocal, and then find the saxophone channel. Here it is, push up the fader. We have a satisfied singer. I've been using Stage Mix with other Yamaha consoles for several years now. I can't imagine doing another gig without it. For the first time with a TF series, Yamaha is making an app called Monitor Mix, which will enable you to set up a simple personal monitor system. If a performer on stage has an iOS device, he or she can adjust their own monitor mix. They'll see the level and the pan controls just for their one specific AUX bus. And they can make their own personal group settings for even easier adjustment. For example, Add all the drum inputs to one group and adjust their level with just one fader. Let's see how it works. Launch the app and you'll soon see any TF mixers that are found in the network. Select and connect. You can enter a pin number for security if you like. Then select the AUX you want to control. I'm working on the baritone sax. Now we have all the levels, as you can see there with the faders. At the beginning I have a couple of groups, a drum group and a percussion group. Then individual channel levels, and over here the master listening level. If you've got a stereo AUX, then you have a pan adjustment here. You can pan all the channels as you like. You can open up one of the groups and you have individual channel levels there. And you can still adjust the master as you see. Let's make a new group. Press this button. I'm going to make a group out of the three string channels. Select them and group. You can type a name for it. Strings. You can change the color or icon if you like. Done. Now I want to put my strings next to the other groups so I can reorder this. Press and hold and drag. Move it next to the drum and percussion groups. There. Done. Now you can see one fader for all my strings. Open it up, you can see the individual levels and the master level there. Nice and easy, isn't it wonderful? Since up to three devices running TF Editor or Stage Mix can be connected at the same time, and up to 10 devices running Monitor Mix, even quite large bands can be handled without overloading the work of the sound engineer. Another way in which TF gives you more freedom to create a better mix. TF, touch and flow.